uh, an eliminator pool, if you will. Uh, uh, this one is in particular is a loser pool. You pick a team to lose every week. You only have to pick one team to lose, and you can only use one team once during the season. Can we get a salty Matthew Berry? Oh, uh, hang on. I'm, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not even there yet. I'm just preparing everybody for it. So I was in this group. Over 1,800 people are in this thing. And, you know, it's been a crazy year with upsets and everything like that, and I'm still alive going to this week. Out of 1,800 people plus, 1,800 plus, it was down to about 120 going into the weekend. And then a lot of people picked Detroit to lose. That didn't happen. A lot of people picked Chicago to lose. That didn't happen. A lot of people picked New York to lose. That almost happened. Um, but anyway, so going into last night's game, I would have been one of like the final, I don't know, 50 people. I had okay. Houston to lose. How dare you? I had Houston to lose, but because Cincinnati was at home, they're undefeated playing against a three and five team. But you know what? I forgot the most important lesson, Field Yates. What's that? I blame myself. What is it? I blame myself, and I'll tell you why. Andy Dalton coming up. Because I realized that every single time you think it's time to believe in Andy Dalton, every single time you decide, hey. He's turned the corner. I believe in Andy Dalton. He f***ed you. He absolutely f***ed you. <laughs> That's what happens. And you understand people are like, I can't believe the Bengals fans are booing. And they're booing because they watch every single game. They watch every single play. And they know the same thing that I know. Is that every single time you finally said, you know what, and you release yourself and you start to relax and you say, you know what, I trust in Andy Dalton. He f***ed you. And it's not just Andy Dalton. I want to be very clear about this. Yes, he missed a lot of throws. Yes, he threw bad interceptions. Yes, he couldn't get the offense in a rhythm whatsoever. Yes, he had Tyler Eifert down the sideline wide open that would have gone for a long touchdown that he completely missed. But it's not entirely his fault because Eifert had a number of drops that were terrible. A.J. Green fumbles uh, you know, when you're driving at the end. Once again, the Jeremy Hill does absolutely nothing. So does Giovanni Bernard. The play calling was atrocious. The defense, T.J. Yates, your older brother, Field, who hasn't even seen playing time this year, comes in in a Monday night game on the road, and what does he do? He's better than Andy Dalton. Of course he, he is. He throws a touchdown pass. Why is that so and surprising? And you know why this is? Because the Cincinnati Bengals, every time you try to trust the Cincinnati Bengals, they f*** you. They completely f*** you. If there's ever a team in the NFL that whenever you decide to try to actually believe in them and to say, you know what, they're no longer the Bengals anymore, they f*** you. That's exactly what they do. They do it every single year. They do it in the playoffs. They do it in the regular season. They do it to their fans. They do it to the NFL. They did it to ESPN last night. They do it to everyone. That's what the Cincinnati Bengals do. They f*** you. Rewind. Fantasy news from the National Football League. This is the instant replay.